is a hilarious piece, and before children had phones and computers and TVs to play with, they had to make do with puzzles, books and dolls. Florence Nightingale by L. de Gardpesh You're very ill, and you must lie quiet. Yes, you must. If you're not good, I won't take your temperature. Then where would you be? Goodness me! It's 200! Mopsy's temperature, it's 200! And she's very ill. She's more ill than you were. Much more ill. They don't like being in hospitals, but when they're ill, they have to be. Now, Mopsy, I'm going to cure you. This is a good hospital. Now, drink this and you'll be well. All of it, and if you're good, I'll give you a little piece of sugar after. Now, let's take your temperature again. Open up. Well, isn't that wonderful? You're cured! Now you can go back to your family, and if you're good, you can come back and have scarlet fever tomorrow. <sighs> I can't help if they, if they enjoy being ill. Mother says that Mrs. Bramwell in the village enjoys being ill. Well, so does Mopsy. What is the matter with her? Well, yes, she is bad. I'll turn Mopsy out. Did her head come off? Right, Clarissa, don't be frightened. Here's a nice, nice bandage. You hold her path in while I tie, tie her head on. How did it come off? Wouldn't like to be a doll belonging to you. I think it needs some glue, really. Here's Father! Father, have you got any glue? It's Parthe's Clarissa. Her head's come off. Clarissa's very rich. She says if you can cure her, she'll pay the hospital a thousand pounds. I do like hospitals. <laughs>